Eighty percent of the abuse stops when the woman starts earning. And I always wanted to help abused women. We have helped more than hundred thousand women to get on their feet. I'm Manoj Badugar Pitiya. I come from a simple family from Kandy. I was brought up by my grandparents and my grand aunt from the age of eight days to the age of eight years. Uh, after my A levels, I was short a few marks to enter university, so I started working at Air Lanka. My husband was a doctor, and he had a hospital. He had to go for his higher studies, and I ran the hospital for some time. In the meantime. Uh, we came came across this uh, 50 acre jungle and uh, the owner was migrating and uh, he wanted to sell the property but he wanted money in foreign exchange so i had my savings from air lanka and bought this 50 acre property a branch of the kehelgamoe river runs across this land and when we saw the water gushing uh, myself and my husband realized that we could start a small hydropower project that was the starting point of pam hydropower after pam hydropower uh, private limited was built and it was running smoothly on this land uh, there was a old bungalow which i converted into a lodge uh, and uh, the unique thing is we don't have expertise here the people who built the hydropower project the boys got together and built it i design most of it and uh, we have not destroyed nature we have a few villas on the river and also the bungalow also has about 15 luxury rooms so the uniqueness is um, it we, we don't have many professionals helping there was no engineer or architect or design or interior designer everything was done by me and my boys I I never felt uh, I was discriminated being a woman actually most people helped me in my career building the hydropower of course at that time my husband was alive and he too helped but uh, there was no problem being a woman if you're humble and uh, not arrogant and if you know your subject thoroughly I don't think there is, there is a gender problem everything was perfect in my life and all of a sudden my husband falls ill and i lose him at that point i realized that nothing is permanent and only the good we do we can take it from that time onwards uh, i have get i have been getting more and more into charity work i i don't come from a super rich family but i come from a very giving family simply women organization was started in 2015 um we teach uh, women to make uh, clothes batik work handbags then um, stuff from paper mainly we give them the industrial machines and get them orders first three months we give the materials for them to start a business our classes are four months and we used to run 15 classes a week we are also involved uh, closely with the indira cancer trust fund we work in the prison i'm very happy to do that because when you work in a place like that we work with ladies who are there for life for for things they did which they couldn't help the circumstances they could not help doing that we have built houses we have sponsored children uh, indira cancer trust fund we do we build two units for them we sponsor 10 children every month we do a class for the recovering patients every month so under simply women we are involved in uh, running a elderly home called metsaran in grand pass with the pro- profits i earn from arsulan ecology and pam sidro we run so many projects like the elderly home we had the cancer hospital we work in the prison which gives me gives me so much of happiness 